Hi guys, Saloni this side and welcome back to our channel Codera. So this is the 24th video of our SQL tutorial series and in the last video we discussed about the having clause in detail. And if you want to watch that video then you will find the video link in the description box. So in today's video we will discuss about the difference between where clause and having clause. And guys it is very important for you to know the differences because most of the time interviewer ask you when we should use the where clause and when we should use the having clause so it is very important question for interview so please watch this video till the end so now let's understand the differences between where clause and having clause so our first difference is where clause is used to filter the records from the table based on the specified condition while the having clause is used to filter record from the groups based on the specified condition so guys we use where clause when we have to filter the rows from the complete table while we use having clause if we have to filter the data from the groups for example this query so this query will fetch name department and salary of those employees whose salary is more than 4000 So here this query will check each row of the table one by one and the where clause will filter the rows based on the given condition and the condition is the salary should be more than 4000 so when we execute this query we will get this three rows in the output so now look at this query so this query will fetch department and the sum of salary of each department from the employee table and here we have a having clause with the condition that the sum of salary should be more than 4000 so this query will return only those rows which will satisfy this condition now let's see how this query will work so from employee table it will first group the salary according to departments something like this and the sum aggregate function will add the salary of each departments and in last it will return only those row which will meet the condition that the sum of salary should be more than 4000 so when we execute this query we will get this output and guys what happen if we will use the where clause in place of having clause so let's execute this query with the where clause so guys it will give us a error that you have an error in your sql syntax So guys here we can't use the where clause because the where clause is used to filter the rows and the having clause deals with the group. So this is how where clause and having clause filters the data. Now let's check out our next difference which is where clause implements in row operations while having clause implements in column operations. So guys as we just discussed in our previous example that where clause works on rows while having clause deals with columns or groups. So our next difference is where clause can be used without group by clause while having clause cannot be used without group by clause. So guys as we just seen our previous example when we filters the data using where clause then we don't need to group any column because where clause filters the data row by row from the complete table unlike the having clause. Like in this query we grouped the rows by department column before we use the having clause. because having clause works on grouped data that's why we must have to use the group by clause whenever we use the having clause so now i hope you understand this difference and still if you have any doubt then you can check out this two separate videos where i have discussed about the group by and having clause in detail and for the video links you can check out the description box so now let's see our next difference and the difference is that the where clause can be used with the select update and delete statement while the having clause can only be used with the select statement so i hope this difference is clear now our next and important difference is where clause cannot contain aggregate functions while having clause can contain aggregate functions so let's understand this difference with our previous example like here we have used some aggregate function with having clause while we cannot apply this filter condition with the where clause something like this it will give us the error because where clause cannot contain aggregate functions as it work on rows not on the groups now our next difference is the where clause is used to filter the rows before the grouping is performed while the having clause is used to filter the rows after the grouping is performed 
So as we just seen in our previous examples that the well clause don't need any grouping to perform the filter operations but in case of having clause grouping is must so the having clause will only works after the grouping of data is done now our next difference is very clear that the group by clause is used after the where clause while the group by clause is used before the having clause and if your query has all of them together then the order will be where clause then group by and after that you will have to write the having clause so guys our last difference is where clause is used with the single row functions like upper lower and etc while the having clause is used with the multiple row functions like sum count average and etc so guys as we know where clause implements row operation so it will used with the row functions while the having clause implements on grouped data so it will used with the multiple row functions so guys that's all about this video and i hope now you know when you should use where and having clause and guys in the next video we will discuss about some built in function in sql so keep watching code era and don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching